Today we are going to discuss about hegemonic masculinity and media can be performed in many ways after applying the theory of R. W. Connell of hegemonic masculinity on Peaky Blinders and Man of Steel the results were amazing. Definition of hegemonic masculinity R. W. Connell. The context of hegemonic or dominant masculinity in the societal order is the predominant layout of masculinity that symbolizes the characteristics of being a man likewise the toughness, physical strength, risk-taking, aggressiveness, emotional illiteracy along with leadership. Additionally, a man with independence and confidence stated an ideal man in society. As per the theory of R. W. Connell on hegemonic masculinity, there is an unequal relation of gender between men and women legitimately be Lansky. 2020. This type of men who controls the society and hierarchy by dominating the subordinate masculinity can be seen in series Peaky Blinders and in film Man of Steel. Subordinate masculinity is below hegemonic masculinity in which men are treated to be weak or not masculine enough for instance gay men or men who are low in class or social status. H.M. Hegemonic masculinity not only controls females but also other men. One can say they are the top man. HM is shaped by culture, and it is performed differently in different regions. Peaky Blinders, the character of Thomas Shelby fits best in HM. He have all the characteristics of hegemonic masculinity like he controls everything throughout the series. He is too poor to show his emotions and he keeps everything within himself. As a result, after her daughter dies, that trauma is converted into anger and he suffers from anxiety and depression. The character Thomas Shelby believes that women should take care of children and man should be working. At one point he tries to put a bullet on his own head that describes hegemonic masculinity can be harmful if it reaches on extreme level. Extreme level. Man of Steel. I have taken Man of Steel movie 2013 and Superman for my analyses. Superman who is a superhero that have every characteristics of hegemonic masculinity except one he knows how to control negative emotions and do not hurt anyone around him but then also he suffers some type of trauma after he have to kill General Zod for the good. Superman is from a different planet and have extraordinary powers but his human dad didn't allow him to show his powers to world because he thinks world will become his enemy and will not take him as one of them and as a result he was helpless and failed to save his dad in storm. Superman if we take him as a normal human being, he can be a good example of positive masculinity. Whereas the villain General Zod fits best in HM like dominating Earth by using weapons and his powers also Superman and General Zod have same powers however General Zod uses it to harm others moreover he is also fascist in one scene when Superman's dad sends his son to Earth. General Zod fights with his dad to kill him and get back the Codex to save a few of main members of their planet. Fascism is an alien thing. Conclusion after comparing both, I found positive masculinity and developed a new perspective to look genders and media that can be helpful to generate new ideas for creative industries. Enjoy the scenes from series and film and apply this theory of HM. The scene Thomas Shelby dominates his family to maintain control for the business. One of the characteristics of hegemonic masculinity. You can go, but you won't get far, Arthur. Uh, go on, Tom. I spoke to Moss last night. He told me that the Chief Constable of Birmingham has issued a warrant for your arrest, murder, sedition, conspiracy to cause explosion. John, I'm coming for you as well. Murder, conspiracy to cause explosion. Michael. What the fuck? The murder of Hughes. Polly. Wait a minute, what the fuck are you talking about? Murder of Chief Inspector Chester Campbell. Why are you fucking... The people that we betrayed last night, they want to bring us down. Now, they control the police, they control the judges, they control the juries, they control the jails, but they do not control the elected government. Listen to me! Listen to me! So I have made a deal in return for giving evidence against them. Well, fucking hang! It's all taken care of. Lizzie, collect all the money and bring it to the cellar. You will all get your money in due course. When the police gets in, do not resist. You go with them, you do not say anything. Arthur, I've made a deal. 
with people even more powerful than our enemies. Trust me, brother. Hey. Trust me. No. Linda. Linda. Characteristics of hegemonic masculinity. Superman shows the toughness by not saving his dad and controlling his emotions because his father believed world will not accept him as one of them so he was not able to save him by using his powers. of steal the character of Superman as a man with superpowers as he is an alien from Krypton planet and serves as the savior of mankind. The scene where Superman destroyed or killed his enemy called General Zod to save a family and mankind broadly. Several scenes of this film along with the particular scene reflect the masculine hegemonic in society. You love these people so much. You can mourn for them. <laughs> Don't do this! 